The Ghana boxing contingent vying for slots at the Olympic Games 2020 in Tokyo are getting ready for the tournament which kicks off Friday, July 24. Yao Fosulabi was there to monitor their progress so far. In the quiet Gamashi Hall at the World Equipped Trust Sports Emporium, the building that houses the Bukum Boxing Arena, 14 boxers train with only one goal in sight reaching the Olympic Games in Tokyo. These sets of amateur boxers have been carefully selected from some of the top gyms in the country and there's every hope that Ghana's chances will be brighter now with proper representation in the sports at the Games. In that regard, the boxers are not laying their guard down in training. From the punching bags, learning new techniques and a well-structured diet plan is how they want to achieve this. You look for the space. Uh -huh. you look for the space. Uh -huh. With the experienced coach of Oriasa in the corner, Ghana has a man who knows the sport well and in good standing to ensure that the best athletes get the right chances. Ahead of the long and sometimes tricky qualification process in Senegal, Asari says he is hopeful of Ghana's chances. Yeah, yeah, very hopeful. I know it's not going to be easy. We are going to compete with 52 plus countries who are all working very hard. They also want to go to the Olympic Games. But we also feel that we need it. And based on that, we are putting our all. And you could see the boxes, they, they, are, they are not giving up at all because they also want to make uh, a life for themselves. And so uh, we are working very hard. We've done it before and we believe we can do it again. Boxers Jesse Latte and Abubakar Korte are among the team to fight it for a place in Tokyo. Both are upbeat. I've been there before, things didn't go on well. So I've learned my mistake and I've corrected myself. I, we, we've worked very, 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 very hard this time. I'm excited that Jesse Latte is going to represent his nation, Ghana, at the qualification to the Olympic Games. Are you hopeful of qualifying? Yes, of course. I'm very hopeful. All of the bars of qualification to Tokyo might not be possible if these athletes are not properly remunerated. The team is currently muddled in a financial crisis that only funds from government can solve. Securing air tickets to the qualification grounds in Senegal has been a major issue, but there is hope that things will change soon. However soon or later this will be, money issues will only go a long way to affect teams as we have seen many times in the past. From the Bukum Boxing Arena in Accra, Yao Ufusulabi for TV3. All right, now, if you're a big, uh, you know, table tennis fan, the Ghana Table Tennis Center at the Fantasy Dome may be for you. The Ghana Tennis Federation has embarked on a journey to develop table tennis talent brilliantly. Here's a story on how that is being done. Not the sport many a Ghanaian would devote their time to, but that could be about to change. The Ghana Tennis Federation has made it possible for the youth to build on their passion for the board sport and improve the quality we have in our national ranks. 32 boards have been provided at the Fantasy Dome Trade Fair Centre to help Ghana prepare its talent for the 2020 Chairman's Cup Tournament, which is slated for Saturday, February 15. Mauko Afajanu is the president of the Ghana Tennis Federation and explained the need to have a facility like this in a country growing in the sport. This is going to be our primary place for events, but the Accra Sports Stadium is still available. We'll still have some tables there. Those who want to go to Accra Sports Stadium to play the sports hall, you can always go there to play. What you have here is a world-class facility. So Accra Sports Stadium, on the upside, we're doing five boards. Here on the upside, we can do 32 boards. That's an exponential jump. Also, the association is looking at staging corporate events with a new facility. In addition to the National League being hosted here, we'll have a series of tournaments. We're looking at starting a corporate league amongst all the corporate bodies. Now, by doing this, we believe that we're going to open up the pipelines in terms of talent, in terms of opportunity, and also in terms of good health for people who love playing table tennis. The tournament will see over 200 talents participating in the competition to honor the Federation's president.